Hi, welcome to Boxers at 10. I'm your news anchor, Joel Shack. Recently, the government has been getting ready to employ a new bill to combat global warming. They call it cap and trade. Here's how it works. It acts as a type of emissions trading system where the total amount of emissions is limited or capped. For example, a company that emits a lot of carbon dioxide into the air will first have to buy a permit to allow this. They then ha will have a quota to go by. If they go past this quota, then they'll be taxed for it. If they emit less CO2 than the quota, then they can sell their permit to other emitters who need them so they can reach their cap. And now to our news reporter Howard, who has information about the public's reactions to cap and trade. Thanks, Joel. Cap and trade has sparked lots of reactions, so I decided to question various people to find out what they think about the policy. Excuse me, sir. Do you know about the cap and trade policy? Oh, yeah, I do. What do you think about it? Well, I think it's great. It's making the electric company search for new energy solutions, and it's making rich Silicon Valley engineers like me even richer. <laughs> I don't even know what Captain Charade is. Personally, I hate Captain Charade, but it's making electric prices come up, which makes me pay more. Hey, how do you feel about Captain Charade? You already asked me. Hey, Mexican drug cartel. Huh. Uh, okay. What, what, what do you think about Captain Charade? Oh. Oh, see. Si. See, si me gusta pupusas. Uh, me gusta pupusas con bastante arroz y frijoles. As you can see, the reactions vary from person to person depending on who you ask. This graph shows the results of a survey we did asking if people agree with the cap and trade policy. Go! Go!